it was your first CSA Awards. Uh, what? How was the experience? A uh, very nice experience. Very uh, nice place that we stayed at, and a lot of people that I knew that I didn't know that was involved in cricket South Africa that I got to meet, and and you just kind of get an appreciation for how many people are involved and make this uh, possible in South Africa. So yeah. So who did you ming all mingle with? Um, a lot of the guys I know, majority of the night, I met a few uh, other people that that work for CSA, and yeah, it was um, it was interesting. I met a lot of different uh, personalities, and I got to mingle with some of the South African cricket guys, which was, was really special. Um, which players did you speak to? It was uh, <laughs> it was mainly uh, Vernon, some guys like uh, Vian Malder, up and coming uh, mm -hmm. prospect. Um, as well as um, some guys that have played a few games for South Africa, um, Kaya Zondo, um, Dane Patterson. So uh, majority of the night I was just uh, having light out conversations with them. Yeah, you were nominated for Sunful Series Player of the Year um, and you lost out to Simon Armour. This, tell me how you feel about your nomination first and how it felt not to win the prize. Yeah, um, realistically speaking, to have just been nominated for such a prestigious award was... Um, something far beyond that, what I expected to achieve this season so it was truly really an honour and a privilege to have uh, been nominated and looked at for that uh, award and yeah um, I'm feeling quite relaxed, uh, there was no odd feelings, um, I didn't go there with any expectations and um, it was well deserved by Simon Armour so congratula congratulations to him, um, he had a fantastic season and yeah maybe one day in the future I'll be able to uh, collect that award. And goals for the new season? Um, with main goal, um, be as fit as I can for for the duration of all formats throughout the season, and to continue with um, my consistency in performances.